Wow, looks so appealing. Doesn't remind me of vomit at all. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna react to Chloe Keen. Reason being, she just came out with a new What I Eat In A Day video and titled it Vegan and Healthy, which is of course a complete contradiction. Let's look into it. Super healthy already. I'm gonna have breakfast now. Um... All right, straight away, first impression, anemic. Second impression, super frail. As always, how will this person teach us now what true health means? Which is usually like breakfast and lunch together because I have breakfast later as I do intermittent fasting. So I Yes, absolutely. That is what you need. It's not enough that you malnourish yourself on a vegan diet. Please do intermittent fasting on top of it. Great idea. I have breakfast around like 11, noon, usually around that time. I think I'm going to be eating a lot more warm food. I have to cut it off again. Guys, you have to realize that veganism is a fasting mimicking diet. This is why it works short term. The fasting mimicking effect can increase health temporarily and can get rid of disease temporarily. But it is not sustainable. Long term, you will run into deficiencies. That is just common sense, something that you cannot fight. Every single vegan will run into deficiencies sooner or later. Now you take this diet and combine it with real fasting on top and you are in a world of suffering. In the winter and maybe eat less smoothie bowls. If you guys have any ideas Try that. or suggestions, let me know down in the comments. Eggs. Great idea. What is that? All right, so like any good vegan, she will start her day off with sugar. Always the same. Where in the world would you start your day off with four bananas? It doesn't make any sense. If you would even try to eat those bananas after one or two, you would be fed up with it. But in this blended form, it is of course easier to consume. Now she adds berries, frozen berries that is, because she is anemic. Vegans always crave frozen food. Have you ever noticed that? Why is that so? Because when you get anemic, your body craves frozen foods. And of course, she will add all kinds of stimulants into the mix, such as cacao, maca and whatnot. Omega-6. Anti-nutrients, again. Let me tone this down. Great. Yet again, no nutrition in this concoction. It is always the same. Omega-6 on top of sugar. Aflatoxins with more anti-nutrients. That is breakfast for you in the vegan world. Amazing. Wow, looks so appealing. Doesn't remind me of vomit at all. Fantastic. Please give me more. Can you add some seeds? Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. Buckwheat. According to vegans, buckwheat has everything you need. <laughs> Some more sugar. And there they are. The seeds. <laughs> ah, more seeds, please. Oh yes, cacao nibs as well. And almond butter on top. Delicious. I think this is something that a six-year-old girl would enjoy eating. Almond yogurt. Why do you want yogurt? Why could that be? I do not know. This is a beautiful vegan journey. I enjoy this video. It teaches me to be healthy. I just got back home. I went to a cafe this afternoon to work a little bit. I'm gonna go on a run before dinner, but I want to prep everything now. So then when I come back, I can start eating and I don't have to worry about cooking. Tonight, I'm yes. That sounds familiar. I don't have to worry about cooking, worry about eating. 
As a vegan, you're constantly obsessed with food. Your day revolves around food, food prepping, food planning, eating, shitting. It is always the same. Those vegans have no spare minute in their measly lives to relax and not to think about food. It's pathetic. I'm gonna be making some roasted veggies with a peanut sauce and some brown rice she and sounds so a weak. salad. So I have a lot of veggies at home from my grandma's garden, from the store that I bought yesterday and mm -hmm. just a bunch of thing. And I thought rice is a really easy thing <sighs> to reheat also um, later. So yeah, let's start cooking. Yay. But I'm to them. Let's tone down the music again. Crazy world. Looky looky, what do we got here? Okay, just a bunch of tubers and roots. Nothing wrong with it, guys. I said it many times before, I'm not dogmatic. If you want to eat some starchy carbohydrates, go for it. Nothing wrong with it. However, if you make this your staple, then of course, again, you are in a world of suffering. This won't sustain you by any means. And it does not matter if you put it onto a chronometer and a chronometer tells you, hey, there's vitamin A in here. No, there is no vitamin A in there. There's only beta carotene. So how good do you convert it? Nobody knows. <laughs> Kale said it 763 billion times before on this channel, super toxic. Not even sheep would eat it, but real life sheeple will. La 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 la. No nutrition in lettuce, pretty much water. Why would you eat this? There's literally no point in eating any of this, vegan or not. There is really no point. You would feel much better if you wouldn't eat it. And again, peanut butter. So by now it should be pretty clear. You don't need me to tell you the reason why she is eating peanut butter is because she has a fat deficiency. A fat deficiency? How can that be? Simple, only two essential macronutrients, proteins and fats, real animal fats. If you don't eat them, after a while you will start craving them. Because if you look at Chloe, you will see there is no body fat to be eaten. She cannot sustain herself with her adipose tissues. That is impossible. She already went through it all. She looks anorexic, anemic, as I said. And now she's craving the real deal. But she cannot allow herself. So what does she do? She eats peanut butter, almond butter, just to cope with the deficiencies. Garlic, antimicrobial, natural antibiotic, seed oils, very inflammatory, will lead to heart disease, my good friends. Don't do it. All of this just to mimic some dairy. Some tofu, phytoestrogens, peanut sauce, Eflotoxins. Uh, bon appetit. Again, looks so innocent, right? When I was a vegan, I was very macro focused myself. I was typing everything into chronometer religiously. And I was convinced I'm getting everything I need. It looks all right. Some starches, some tubers, some tofu, protein, carbohydrates, and the fats through the peanuts. Everything is covered on paper. The reality is, you cannot absorb it. Bite. bite. All right, and this is it. That is the whole video. As we saw, Chloe appeared in it for a couple of seconds. Probably she felt too weak to appear in this video. In this shot, we can see she looks tired. She looks exhausted, like all of them. Probably took all her strength to film this video. Just two meals, rice, potatoes, tofu, and a smoothie bowl. That is all she ate that day. Guys, I can tell you how bad veganism is until the cows come home. 
but I bet even the vegans will agree with me. This is not a way to eat. Come on, man. She's under eating radically. She is starving herself. All of that had maybe 1200 calories at best. But of course, I can sympathize with her. I do understand why she doesn't want to eat more. Most vegans start intermittent fasting because they don't want to be bloated. They don't want to get even more digestive upset. And this is what happens with all of those plants. All of that fiber, all of that anti-nutrient rich food will destroy your gut lining. And then you will automatically stay away from it. I was a vegan for four years. In the later days, when I would see pumpkin, squash, certain grains, my belly would start hurting just looking at it because I knew once I ingest it, I will spend the rest of the day on the toilet. It is the most destructive way of eating. This is self-deprivation. This is self-destruction. And this girl has the audacity to call her video vegan and healthy. There is nothing healthy about veganism and for damn sure there is nothing healthy about Chloe. All right, guys. And this is for today. Just a quick review about Chloe Kian. Absolutely destructive way of eating. Please do not try this at home. Guys, if you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And if you want to support the channel, guys, all the links are in the description box below. We have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef, deliver to your doorstep butcher boxes for you and we have cbd links as well on top of that guys consider supporting bobby's perspective through subscribestar or patreon we have a vip community there where we have skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic no matter if it is health lifestyle or nutrition related on top of that by joining you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide it is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals no matter if you're keto primal paleo or even raw thank you very much for your support guys and as always much love and peace